This episode of MMA Notes is brought to you by Tire Buyer. Buy tires online, get them shipped for free to an installer of your choice. Save 10% off with code MMA10. NordVPN, get advanced security, internet freedom, and complete privacy. Save 73% off the two year plan plus four months free with code MMA Nuts. Bulletproof Coffee, power your mind, fuel your body, and unleash your limitless potential. Save 20% off with code BPMMA20. Liquid Web, one of the top hosting providers around. Save 33% off monthly VPS plans with code VPS33 off. Defense Soap, everyday soaps for everybody. Use code MMA Nuts to save 15% off your order. Hey fans, this is MMA Nuts episode 562. 562. My name is Ango Michael. Back with my show, Bio and Fans, Forum and Fans, Walk the Line Between Serious and Ridiculous. Did you get that creamy root beer? I did, and it's delicious. Good call on that one. We should get a Zevia sponsorship, is what we should Seriously, do. when you look at my <laughs> fridge, I got the rainbow over here. You think I'm gay as fuck with the amount of colors I'm representing in my fridge. Hmm. <sighs> so. No comment from the peanut gallery. He's going to let that one go. I'm just going to let it go. That's probably best. Yeah. So, uh, hey, how about our fucking weird weather, right? So it's Again. 80 degrees the other day, and then it's fucking 30 tonight. Yep. Pretty throw, wild. Throw out my garbage. I put my snow pants and winter jacket and hat and gloves on. Uh-huh. You know, it's fucking wind chill and nonsense. And then the other day, I am put a... Uh, Got a inflatable hot tub, put that fucker out and got in mm-hmm. that. I'm like, oh, can we have this nice 60 degrees at the end of the night again? Yeah. Like that's beautiful just to sit out there and mm-hmm. you know have some it's fun. coming, man. You give it a I think give it gonna, another month. <laughs> we're gonna skip spring. I think it's just gonna go right to summer. That's how we usually do it, right? We skip yeah. spring and fall, and it's just winter or summer. It's either hot or cold, no yes. in betweens, no fun. Like, we oh, get like we get four around. or five days of spring sprinkled in between April and May. So, yeah. <laughs> and then well, we had that summer. nice taste on Saturday. So it was great. Yeah, it was like eighty. I think it hit eighty four. I had to turn my air conditioning on, make sure everything worked. So I don't want to be uh, unprepared when it actually does get super hot. Yeah. So I'm gonna I had to take that fucker, take my air conditioner apart, get in there, clean out all the leaves and trash and bullshit, get back together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did we did some yard work as well, cleaned up some stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of shit going on. So UFC over the weekend, we had uh, a real shitty card. Did you even watch? A little controversy. We had there was this Dean Perry versus Mike Jackson, and three fouls during the fight. Uh, I'll share the first one, and hopefully this sounds not going to be super loud. Here's the first one. Right, I, I, and I'm not even. I'm talking about. Oh, oh. like a spinning kick to the dick. Spin. Ouch. No coaching, guys. I mean. <laughs> kick my dick. <laughs> Russ, pretty solid, right in there. Yeah, I mean, there's no question. He got all that one, right? So not only did he take that one for the team. Mm-hmm. He also took another low blow. And then later on, I'll share this image with you. We got fucking eye gouged. In the same fight? Good God. Yeah. So he <laughs> suffered three falls. <laughs> and then after the eye gouge, he can't fuck. He's like, I can't fucking see. They end up calling the fight. So Mike Jackson wins via DQ. And then the guy he fought, Dean Perry, goes on to say, Hey, to be honest with you, I thought he took the easy way out there. <laughs> I didn't want to stay. Didn't want to continue fighting. Uh, even when I kicked him low, he was talking on the ground to me for ages. Like, if you get hit in the nuts, you can't be talking like that. Same with the eye poke. Straight after a ref called the fight off, he was fine. Both eyes open perfectly. He said he couldn't open his eyes. Look, I'll take the rematch in a heartbeat if they give it to me or just let me go back down to my weight division and fight. I thought I showed enough out there. Sorry about that. It's not lost for me. I was destroying him when I got a DQ for an eye poke. What can you do? Not foul the guy three times. I don't know. (laughs) Simple math. 
Yeah, three is too many. I can understand one or two, but three is just not. <laughs> now you're now you're just using that as part of your attack. <laughs> exactly. Just, just... <laughs> you can't stick your finger in his eye like it was. You, you're trying to check his oil. Like that's what it yeah. looked like. Like oh my god. So through his eye eyeballs. Yeah, like going in one hole, coming out the other. That's all I wanted to talk about for that UFC because it was just not great. And then Bellator held an event in Hawaii over the weekend. Very under-promoted yet again. You had Chris Cyborg versus Blenko 2. Mm-hmm. And I will share a little action from the first round. Because, you know, you got to represent the Cyborg. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's a GIF, so it's kind of fucking just auto-playing itself here. Hey, <laughs> like, hey. Go. Go. Eat that. Go, go. Damn, that's Got a lot of power. One. Yep. And I forgot what cyborg. Oh yeah, the other chick was down on the ground. I think this was still in the first round, and it looked like cyborg was trying to throw a knee to her shoulder. I may have misplaced it, and it kind of hit the chick in the head. But the chick got her hand up, so the knee hit the hand, and then the hand hit the head, but still was an illegal blow. But I mean, that chick she fought was super tough. And then in, in the fifth round, there's like a minute left, and Glencoe is like pointing in the middle of the octagon or the fucking Bellator cage, like, come on, come on, like Max Holloway. Mm-hmm. And Cyborg's like, okay. <laughs> you know, they kind of engage, but I mean, it was a clear, and the judges had it right. It was a 50 45 fight but since, <laughs> since she lost that point she she lost a point for that illegal blow so then it was uh 49 45 because of the point deduction but uh, during that fight cyborg landed almost three times the amount of second significant strikes as the other lady did so it she, wasn't she's still your favorite yeah i mean she just it looked like she was she was throwing hard but almost she wasn't trying to empty the gas tank because she knew it was a five round fight. So, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it was a good fight because the other chick was tough. So she was able to take the punishment and then respond some time. So she, she did crack cyborg a couple of times, but if you outstrike someone three to one, it's a one fucking yeah. sided fight. And the only reason the other chick was around for five rounds, because she's just tough as fuck. So uh impressive but um it's cyborg hot it is she got some thick thighs i don't know something about mm-hmm. that both mm-hmm. of them and in hawaii pretty cool yes and I, <laughs> your favorite place i hate both announcers i think if you're an mma and you're the play-by-play guy you shouldn't have catchphrases i think that's the problem with mario ranallo yeah. he's got too many catchphrases he always he's- has to have something he stabbed the bed head back like a piss dispenser <laughs> mama mia <laughs> you just fucking call the fight i'm not yeah. here to hear your announcing i'm here to watch the fight and you add a little flavor yes but you're you're like you're Spend you're on 13 i need you on six yes about six and big john i need you on zero because <laughs> <laughs> you're like yeah. minus, i need you on minus five okay just yep. shut the hell up Mm-hmm. not good and we love showtime we do of course uh so. there was a, there was also a pfl over the weekend jeremy stevens making his debut he didn't fare so well did he? uh no this is kind of the story here it was a three-round slugfest but this is kind of what you're looking at uh, does he have a mortal combat tattoo and a two. that guy's got like two mortal combat tattoos he does, he, that's he why does. he wins he does Tua. anyways um too bad he fought uh, Clay Collard, who pretty seasoned guy. I think he that guy has fought like thirty or thirty one times in his career. So weird, man. A lot of these guys are UFC guys are going to the PFL and not having the success that I thought they would. Why do you think that is? Because they're just starting to get back in the steroids. <laughs> ah, so they haven't been down the whole time. <laughs> part of it and they may have better competition than everybody thinks they have right because it's always hard to gauge you can't just say the ufc has the best fighters in the world because it's not fucking true like bellator has some of the best pfl has some of the best it just depends and then it also depends on 
like what other supplements are you on and how long have you been in the game because it's not like you're going to the pfl if you're fresh from the ufc you're going to the pfl at the end of your career you are here i found some video of them just going bananas so it's a lot of it's a lot of fun Yeah, it looked like some illegal blows there. Uh, yeah, they were kind of just going at it. I don't know. The roids, the roids that they help. <laughs> they do sometimes. I think you need like a good year, year and a half to get back and inform on that on that stuff. Yeah, it takes it takes a little while. Yeah, you gotta get your levels in check because you also have to get off of whatever you're on um, within a, probably a few weeks of fight night. Cause they are still testing. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's just free reign. You still got to know your shit and, uh, get off of everything, but I hope you're maintaining the correct levels. So it probably takes a while to get that all dialed in. Yep. I agree. Speaking of getting dialed in, let's talk about our sponsor manscaped. Hey, attention, attention, oh. all my college comrades, the summer sun is just around the corner and you know what that means? The water gets warmer, the skin gets darker, and the hair gets pubier. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. I don't know if that's a word. It's marked as a not a word, but <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Luckily, our friends at Manscaped are here to make it's that summer cab. bod pop with their fourth generation performance package, which includes their signature lawnmower 4.0. You can join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get ready for shaved boy summer by going to manscaped.com. <laughs> <laughs> slash MMA nuts for 20% off and free shipping. Oh, with just with free shipping. No code. Sorry, I fucked that one up. <laughs> As the great Will Smith and DJ Jazzy Jeff said, it's like the summer's a natural aphrodisiac. Hmm. That's weird. You said Will Smith. When I think of Will Smith, I would like his name to be Sir Slaps a lot. <laughs> I think that's more befitting to a 90s rapper. Get so your let's be name out of my get your wife's name up. Get my get your, name out of your get mouth. Get your wife's kick out of my mouth. <laughs> or out of someone's mouth. Like, okay, GIJ2, it all work out. Hey, uh, let's be real. Nobody likes the hairy guy at the beach rave. Is that right? Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to look at this. Hey, you want to take it up a notch? Manscaped Shears 2.0 is an all encompassing. They have a nail kit to tackle those gross sandal nails you might acquire. You can seal the deal with Manscaped's liquid formulations. Hey, I have a liquid formulation. Before heading outside, you can use the crop preserver ball deodorant. Keep you on your game in the heat for any on-the-go ball sweats. You can freshen up with Manscaped's crop reviver. Hop back into the mix with confidence. Yes. And don't forget, you can get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash MMA nuts. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com slash MMA nuts. It's time to trim off those spring flowers this summer and give your beach balls a shine with Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> we almost made that one through flawless, but it shouldn't. I don't think it should ever be flawless. I think it should be a little fucked up every time. I don't think it, I agree. I my question is, yes. what the heck is Shaved Boy Summer? I don't know what that uh, is. They, they had that last summer, but what the hell were they calling that? It was similar, but not quite the same. Can't, I no. can't recall. So <laughs> Perfect. <I'll just> <laughs> as, as with most things. Yeah, uh, I know, right? Big and similar and not yes. quite the same. Did you see the Tyson Fury fight? Or at least the finish? Uh, just the finish. Yeah, he... Uh, technical knocked out Dylan White with a vicious uppercut, right? Yes. Crowd goes wild. He retires. I That's think. not happening. He, there's too <laughs> much money to be made. And then he's like, Francis pulls Francis and Ganu on stage or in the whatever you call yeah, it. In the ring. The ring. And uh, they're talking about doing a fight. And I'm curious, do you think that will ever actually happen? They've been talking about it a while. Maybe, but I think he also was saying. He was asking Francis if he's got a big cack. He's like, you got a big cack, don't you? <laughs> what? Francis didn't know what he was talking about. He's like, I don't know what you're yes, talking yes, about. Yes. This is uncomfortable. Like, very good, very good, very good. <laughs> yes. So awkward. And uh, let's see. Oh, I also want to mention they fought in front of 94,000 people. Like, holy Wembley. fuck. Yeah. Who else can draw that? 
I, I don't know. I mean, I think that's it. I think I don't know who else can draw ninety plus thousand people. I think I, I think Connor could do it with the right opponent it, in at Wembley. I think it's possible. If he was in Ireland, maybe I don't know if they have anything that that's that big. But I think he's been out for so long. I don't know if he's going to carry that amount of relevance anymore. I think in his heyday, yes. Right now, it's tough. And I think even Dana White was saying, I don't have a good fight for Connor to come back right now. Because mm-hmm. uh, nobody wants him or it just doesn't make sense. And going back to Tyson Fury, I don't think he's retired. Does that Francis Ngannou fight happen? Maybe. Because Francis said... I think he's got one more fight left in the UFC. He said he is not resigning with the UFC unless they let him box. Wow. Strong Cause words. Because the weird thing is, and I don't, it probably doesn't make sense to test this out in court because Conor McGregor set the precedent for being a UFC fighter and being able to box. They let him fight Floyd Mayweather in a boxing match. Mm-hmm. Granted, they also took 50% of his pay, allegedly, but... If you do it for one, you have to do it for the other. But do you also want to sit in court for like Randy Couture for how many years he had a fucking lawsuit with the UFC and be sidelined? No. 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 So it's it's better to try to <clears throat> work some kind of an agreement out or just fight out your contract. Do the one more fight and just get the hell out because you will make so much more money. Because I think Tyson made, let's call it $28 million, and the guy he fought $4 million. It was like 80, 20 or somewhere around there, but I think it was a little even different. I think it might've been 82, 18, but the amounts that the guys are making when you're talking 20 plus million to 4 million, it's still a shit ton of money and probably more than uh, Ngannou is making. Cause I think he was, he might've been making like 600,000. He's not making yeah. a million a fight. No. Well, I wonder if that gets up after, you know, I, I think he's in a good position to negotiate some stuff. I think he just hopefully has a good manager because he's, he's still a draw. And, mm-hmm. you know, if, if he plays his cards right, I think he can win. He can be like a heavyweight version of what Connor did, you know, business wise, you know? Yeah. Um, <coughs> I got a cough. <laughs> hang on well <laughs> what the hell are you dying no covid That's not crazy. yet and what else was i going to say about i had something else in there i don't know i just coughed and i, I lost all my brain cells well that's okay we'll go we'll move on so speaking of boxing yeah. dan hardy and diego sanchez did you mm-hmm. hear this are going to have an exhibition bout which uh is happening july 2nd in england manchester england at the ao arena and uh, I think that's being headlined by Ricky Hatton versus Marco Antonio Barrera. Um, I think it's going to be an eight round, two minute to eight, fu- eight round fight, two minute rounds. Um, and they're going to be at a news conference in a few days talking about this stuff. Like, I think this is exciting. I mean, I don't know. Well, it's weird. Cause they also said 16 ounce gloves, no headgear, no judges. Uh, <laughs> so but wait. Uh, my prediction is Dan Hardy murders Diego Sanchez. A hundred percent. 16 ounce clubs though. Seems like it'd be all right. Yeah. But when you think about their striking, like Diego was more of a grappler. Hardy is going to left hook uh, Diego into Tomorrowland, And then back to the fury fight. So here was the other thing that I, I just remembered. They're also talking about potential special rules for that. So maybe it's boxing with MMA gloves or maybe limited other rules. But because you have to make it fair. If you do a straight boxing match, it's 100% Tyson Fury is going to win. But say it's a boxing match with MMA gloves. Then you've semi-leveled the playing field a little bit because he's not going to be able to hide behind those big-ass boxing gloves. You can't use those as a defense. So it's like you almost have to learn – a new style of defense. So we'll see. I still don't like Francis's chances in any type of boxing match against Tyson Fury. No, he's he has too proved good. himself durable and crafty as fuck. And here's again, here's a guy who's done boxing his entire life versus a guy who's done 
MMA for a handful of years and your muscle memory is going to fuck you up during the fight because yeah. Francis is going to have to think and Tyson can just react. And uh, it always goes, well, I'm not going to say it always goes to the guys reacting because we've seen uh, boxers lose. Who was it? Anderson Silva fighting some professional boxer. I forgot who it, who it was. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. But whatever boxing match he had, mm-hmm. He fought a legit boxer and beat him like, oh, my God. But again, Anderson is a elite striker, so he he was able to do that. So it's possible, but I don't think Francis can. So, no, let's carry the MMA gloves. That's like I wish bare knuckle fighting would just do that. Then people's hands wouldn't get so fucked up all the time, you know? Well, then they lose the allure of like a street fight. I think that's part of their sale or sell. Yeah. And and speaking of the bare knuckle fighting championship, Ben Rothwell, yes, he just got cut by the UFC and now he's signed with them. And he said some curious things. He said he'll be a six figure fighter when he starts. And he said if he wins his next three fights, he'll be a seven figure fighter. Wow. Do you believe that? Because there's a lot of people making some bold claims when they go over to BKFC. I think Paige Van Zant was also saying when she went there, and she's still there, that she's made more there than she ever did in, I think, her entire UFC career, which is crazy because, granted, she wasn't the most skilled fighter, but she's a draw from her sex appeal. Yeah, no, I th- I, th- I don't know. Is it is it real is it realistic uh, maybe they i wonder if part of the contract is they have to say that publicly it sure sounds like it man. that's a, that's a valid <laughs> it's like point a because drawing people in every one you know? of them says it right yeah it's like every part of your contract you have to tell people publicly that we pay you tons of money and uh people are going to want to come over here and that's going to grow this organically so but they're know. fun i mean i enjoy some of the fights that i've seen yeah I think I still have the the app because it was like a one time buy, and then you can watch all the fights. Mm-hmm. But it it was weird because you have to watch them through the app, so I have to put it on my phone and then fucking shoot it to a TV, right? Because I don't believe it was on Xbox at the time. So anyway, what else is happening out there? Well, did you see this Mike Tyson thing? He got into a little scuffle on an airliner a couple a days bit. ago. Um, so hopefully this works. Let me see share i'm gonna not share the sound because i don't okay so here here's the guy uh kind of you know there's mike there's the guy he's talking to him he's all like hey i'm giving you a little business what's happening mike's being cool and then you know at some point he stops being cool Mm -hmm. and starts beating the living shit out of this guy (laughs) right (laughs) yeah and I think I have the the f- finished goods here from when this happened um, on this other video. There, there he is. You know, he's still drunk doing his thing. Where is it? Does it show? Right there. There he is, Mister Sad Man. He's got a little yep. wound on the head, looking not so happy. Well, he looks hammered. <laughs> he does. Um, he got brain damage, and then Mike got off the flight. He did. Good move on his part. Um, I'm just wondering. <laughs> Do you think anything's going to happen with this? <laughs> no, because you got to press charges. Who's but I think press, that, I think the guy. I think you think the guy's going to? You think the guy's going to press charges? No, but I think this is how it started. It's like this. Like this dude was staring at me on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Like I get it, man. If the soul is eyeballing you like that, like mad dog in you. You gotta throw bombs you got to. i don't give a fuck who you are and i've seen a, a couple responses from people so i think dana white he, he's had one of the best responses and i know this is an old clip but it's I'll, another I'll one yeah again. yeah where he said this. hey dummies for future reference this is how you stay alive when bumping into mike tyson on an airplane hey come on Move it. You want, I, I like this seat i like it better <laughs> <laughs> that was multiple years ago but you can see the fear in dana's eyes like, uh, 
Uh, I, I'm gonna get up right fucking now, <laughs> even though Tyson was joking. He you was don't play dumb. with Mike. No. And I, Gary Tonin summed it up the best. Now I'll share his tweet here. He says, gotta love how flight attendants can pay enough attention to tell you to lift your mask every two seconds and shake people awake because of it, but they can't notice a guy harassing Mike Tyson for 15 minutes and kick him off the plane. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm under the impression, usually I'm not for you know, like striking the person when, uh, in this case, I'm all for it. I think Mike is in the right. This is different than the Will Smith, Chris Rock stuff. Uh, that is, uh, Chris was right and Will Smith is 100% in the wrong. There's there's yeah. times when the punch is warranted or a slap is warranted. And here, the guy's fucking with you for 15 minutes and there was a rumor the guy threw a water bottle at Mike too. You might have been, you might have threw it like a tire chain and a fucking set of keys uh, bike lock. I don't even know what else the guy was throwing. But <laughs> grenades, it was throwing. Was tire throwing iron. Grenades. Hit him with the tire iron. <laughs> <laughs> if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> right? Duck, dodge, dive, dodge, duck. Or something. Uh, yeah. Fucking stapler. I'll burn this place down. Uh, that's so, funny. What else has happened out there? So, are you in agreement though? Is Mike in the right? I think he's in the right. Mike's in the right. Nothing um, will come of that anyway. Uh, the last thing I got, I forgot to mention earlier, was that Joey Beltran nearly out of uh, uh, bare knuckle fighting because mm -hmm. he choked, to, was choking to death while the president of the organization was sitting next to him and was like, oh, he's really choking. I had to do the Heimlich and save the oh, day. Nice. Yeah. Um, I forgot to mention that earlier. So how crazy yeah, I, is that? I've heard it. It is bananas. I've in speaking from experience, I've choked twice and two of my family members have helped me once my mom because i was eating as a child eating potato chips as a kid laying flat on my back and oh. she's like yeah don't lay down and eat chips i'm like yeah whatever mom and then i <laughs> yeah whatever and then i'm just sitting there <laughs> eating the chips as a callback to three weeks ago um and then i was started choking and i'm like <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, she knew something. She was right. She was smart. So she picked me up and fucking Heimlich me and yeah, she had to chip out. And then another time I was eating one of those everlasting gobstoppers mm -hmm. and I was just sucking on it. And then it just went right in my pipe hole. Like, oh, like, no. Oh. <laughs> my brother was there and he fucking Heimlich me and it fucking shot that gobstopper <laughs> all the way across the room into the wall. I'm like holy fuck that that is if you ever choke it is the worst feeling ever oh yeah no good you're gonna die that's what's gonna yeah. happen like yeah. if someone doesn't help you you're dying so luckily uh i've passed those lessons on i don't, don't let my kids have gobstoppers and definitely don't lay flat on your back while you're eating. <laughs> i had that's to test dumb. some shit out you know you're a yeah. kid you're stupid push the limits so let's see how not to train I got a couple examples. I gotta pre-test these and see if there's music. Yep, there of, of course there's music. So I don't know why everyone seems to go to the Kane Velasquez, the Tony Ferguson type of school of uh, here's how we should train. But here's oh what my we're god, doing. what is happening? I don't even know what that guy has. He's got like there's a box for box <laughs> jumps and a bench. And a, yeah, that's like the bench that I have in my weight room here. And the guy's doing fucking flies with them. But and he's why? struggling as fuck. Exactly. They're like the weight is way too much. And uh, why don't we add insult to injury on that one? I'm waiting for one of his legs to snap. Seriously. So that's one. Oh, man. I'm noticing a theme here. <sighs> it's danger, Ingo. I smell danger. I don't sure. sleep out. That was super loud. Wow. That was really loud. So that guy is. <laughs> what the hell are they doing? <laughs> They're doing work, man. <laughs> he's getting his cardio in. <laughs> that guy's doing a little, uh, oh, seated row, but standing row. I don't know what you call that. Yeah. Yeah. Safety first, Ingo. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what this one is. Oh, this this might be my favorite thing ever and let's see 
I'm going to post this. This is fight move of the week. And hopefully when I click it, it gets uh, big. Oh, damn. They kind of pull it to a wedgie. Worst spots to be in. Hang on. <laughs> she pinched her pussy. I don't know about this music, though. So she, you can see she's wedging. Watch her fingers here. <laughs> that's not that's not illegal he says <laughs> nothing's illegal uh, that's never, pretty solid that's like get grab him by the dick and twist it give him the old dick twist oh that's hot as fuck hopefully that music is good that's funny that's funny that you said that i found that i had that video earlier to queued up and it disappeared off facebook oh the dick twist yeah oh i have that one saved on my phone do you really yes fuck yeah I save funny shit on my phone for every once in a while so I can click on the videos on my phone and then I have all these funny clips and a lot of South Park shit, a lot of shit you can't play ever, but it's all good. Let's oh, do... Yeah. I, th I found it. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm -hmm. You can uh, play that. Here. Are you yep. ready? Yeah, okay. yeah. I don't know if this is the same video, but this is the one uh, that I was looking at earlier that for some reason... I'll tell you right and away. now it's back online. Nope. Can you hear audio? No. Oh, hold on. I'm fucking this up. Hold on a second. Share sound. Here we go. You choke like this here, and I did. And then choke me. Get good problem. So here, choke. choke. Ten, grab the hand, grab the nut. <laughs> hand here, grab the fucking nut. Yeah, I mean, the grab the nut. Pull the flipping. <laughs> Got them finger off. Then release the arm here. Come to the body like this. Got the arm here. Then come back. Now we're in this position. Okay. Now we're in this position. He gonna have problem. Why? Because I'm gonna be underneath here. I'm gonna choke his fucking neck off like this. And, <laughs> and here. And I'm gonna put his arm. So he gonna have a big problem. And it's no more choke hole for him now. And he's not gonna fuck with me anymore. But. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's a different video than the one I was okay. talking about. I'm glad I found that. I don't know who that guy is. But that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. I'll do a quick search. I bet you can get the, the old dick twist. Uh, the old dick twist was the guys in the crowd. And the one guy's going, oh, grab yeah, his yeah. dick and twist it. Yeah, I got it. Hang on. You have sound? Grab his dick and yep. twist it! Oh my god, dude, this is an MMA fight, dude! Twist that dick! Twist his dick! <laughs> twist his dick! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, dick twist! Oh my god! Oh, dick twist! <laughs> uh, I forgot about that one. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, man. That's, what is happening? That's aggressive. What happened? Are you on oh, fire? I smell something weird. <laughs> Smells like uh, epoxy, like someone's mixing epoxy. <laughs> oh, are you having a stroke? That's where I'm wondering. <laughs> um, there's definitely a weird smell in the air. Okay. I feel like I'm a, a weatherman right now. There's definitely a weird smell in the air. It smells like death and plastic somewhat yeah. mixed together. Satan might be in the room. Not quite Could sure. Be. Okay. Oh, and then I don't know if you saw that Kay Hansen got cut from the UFC. Mm -mm. So that means things are going to start amping up a little bit. Oh, good Lord. She has an good OnlyFans. Lord. So I'm just saying when <laughs> fighters get cut from the UFC, things happen. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the ladies, we might as well go down a little bit of rabbit hole. So I was trying to show Ingo a little Paige Van Zandt earlier. So I'll show him the PG rated. So She's saying no ifs, just buts. We saw mm. some of these last week, but mm -hmm. we can watch uh, them again. It's okay. You no, know, she's got a couple of different angles. Yeah, that's the one we saw last week. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she's just hanging out, making things happen. Let's see what Valerie Loretta is up to this week. She's hanging out on the beach. She likes to party, showing off her braids. Mm -hmm. 
That's nice. Yep. Where is that? Hawaii? Uh, probably Florida. Florida, I guess. Yep. And then I didn't know she, there she has a sister, apparently. A uh, Natalie Loretta hanging out with a uh, Valerie Loretta. It's very interesting. Wow. The ladies hang out and they kiss each other, which is awkward but weird. So anyway, that's what happens. Oh, here, here's a little tweet of the week. This one's always fun since we, we're on a certain theme of things. This is Laura Sanko. She's a UFC commentator slash former fighter showing how to do some kind of a choke here. Mm-hmm. Up on the toes, up on the heel over here, the elbows collected, and then I'm just going to sit. Basically, make her suckle. <laughs> yes i'd like to play that game oh yeah i don't know what's going on but sometimes i like to be fed uh-huh. treat me like i'm all baby i know what that's about you can choke me unconscious that's yes, all right that's as long fine. as you're jamming things in my mouth these yes. things happen in mma mm-hmm. and let's do a little ass the nuts what is one thing you absolutely hate about MMA. What do I hate? I think there's too many cards. I can't keep track of everything. I, I think it's too saturated. I wish it wasn't. When I started watching this thing with you, it was like every card was like, Ooh, I can't wait. Now I'm just like, like yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's quality, quality of cards, right? And mm-hmm. the quality has suffered so bad since they sold it. Mm. Lack of thick ring card girls. Uh, yeah. It's always the same. Ladies that have been around forever, five foot two. That kind of shit. And then let me share this one. Let me see if I can pull these fuckers up here. So I don't, I don't know who these island boy guys are, but I don't know why the hell you post this kind of shit and think that this looks okay. Island boys. All right, this is how fast he is, by the way. And no rapper could do this, man. I swear, yeah. yeah. He's in flip flops. No form, no technique. Can't even position his feet right. Flailing away. Oh, up cut. Yeah. No I belt. Show that real quick. Yeah. What? <laughs> what was yeah. that, dude? Yeah. Yeah, that's just him training. Any rapper, I'm get on Cameo it. right now, book the Island Boys, link in the bow, Cameo. Yeah, y'all already know what it is, yeah. Huh? They're Instagram stars of some sort. I've seen they random like posts by them. Yeah, it's, just, it's cool to have tattoos on your face, apparently. <laughs> but, like, if you're going to put on that kind of striking display, don't they have someone around them that say, you probably don't want to post that? No, don't think that's so. Much. Like, that may have been the worst striking I've ever seen. I think Ronda Rousey's shadow boxing is better than what the fuck I just saw right there. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. But only barely. Just barely. And then someone posted a picture. I don't remember where I saw that. But remember, like, how hot Ronda Rousey used to look at the weight cuts? And then I don't know if you remember that time where she was doing the the posing for the that ufc video game the ea ufc game where she had blown up and she had like cankles and you see this someone did a side by side holy fuck yeah that was a good one yeah right and then see if you can Uh, find the ea ufc ronda where she's got cankles and it's not not pleasant i don't remember where that might have been a thread on the underground they have some I found this one action but i actually don't mind this one i don't no, know why. that's not the one there's one of her that is just uh i'll see if i can find it real quick here let's see google honda housey uh ea ufc and then i'll add an extra word at the end <laughs> what? what it says did you mean ronda rousey a ufc fat god google you're so mean i found it oh here i have the picture i was talking about 
Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Good wow. Lord. <sighs> yeah, big difference right there, huh? Yeah. Life-changing difference, right? Hmm. And Mike Dolce, look at him. What a pig. It's like, uh, if I could just get a piece of that A. Mm-hmm. I helped her cut that weight, mm-hmm. making all the money. Don't you die it? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> cha-ching, cha-ching! Are people mm-hmm. even still doing that stuff, the Dolce diet? I, I have no idea. <laughs> you haven't heard of in like a million years, right? No. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you got your knowledge. Yes. In week, honor of Elon month. Musk buying Twitter this week. Cha-ching! I have for you Elon Musk eating a jar of pickles. Tell me this this is not disturbing. (laughs) Oh my God. It's so hot, Ingo. (laughs) Take that pickle, Elon. Take it. Super weird. It's creepy. It's super creepy. And hot. (laughs) Well, if we're going to go down a fucking weird lane, we might as well go all the way. So here's a new take on speed bag training. Oh, let's see. Hang on. I fucking lost my shit here. We gotta close this. Try this. Try that. Click one of these. Two of those. There you go. What the? What is he doing? <laughs> He's speed bag training. I wonder what he's looking at. <laughs> he's I don't probably, know. Yeah, it looks like uh, a strange fact. The kangaroo's balls are on top of his kick. In case <laughs> you keep it track at home. It's backwards? Yeah. And then apparently the female kangaroos have three vaginas. <laughs> Two oh. that uh, collect semens and one that bears a child. I think it's Australia. I think they have weird shit over there. I don't know. Oh. It may be radiation. <laughs> it could be solid like, beer. Uh, do they have a chernobyl kind of thing going on over there i don't think so feels like they do i mm-hmm. don't know i'll just say strange things are afoot at the circle k agreed absolutely or the circle gay i don't know mm-hmm. anyway i think that's about it we really should have done Strange right. things afoot. I know there's a good ufc coming up pretty soon this week's <laughs> not good mother's day weekend may 7th <sighs> you have to wait I'm going to wet myself. I'm getting mm-hmm. moist just thinking about it. Let's just leave it at that. All right. Being moist. I like it. All right. Shut down. That has been this week's edition of Having <laughs> Outs. My name is Ingle Michael. Back of it. Thanks for playing, you sick fucks. <laughs> Get out, darling.